going on YouTube gamers? Bonfire here and welcome to another episode of What's This Game where we highlight a new game, play it, and try to figure out what it's all about. Thanks to the devs over at Pixel Maniacs for providing me with a copy of their game. We are playing Chroma Gun on the PC. Yeah, I'm playing a PC game. With the controller though. <laughs> Suck it, you PC nerds. Now, the best way I can describe this game is that it is Portal with colors. And as we dive into the gameplay, you'll see what I'm talking about. But basically, you go through a series of test chambers, just like you do in Portal. They even have uh, the, a voice, a robot voice, overhead as you're playing through some of the ch test chambers, just like GLaDOS. I like to think of him as kind of GLaDOS's little brother, though. So that's what we're going to refer to him going forward. And you have this this grom, a chroma gun, and it shoots the three primary colors. You got blue, red, and yellow, and you have to use those colors to solve puzzles and make your way through the chambers. It's pretty cool. Later in the game, they add a new element in which you have to mix those primary colors, just like you do in real life, to make other colors, such as purple, green, orange, and even brown, where you mix all the colors. And so that adds a new element to puzzle solving, and it's pretty fun. I think the game's done very well, and I'm excited to share it with you guys. So, we're going to dive into some gameplay here. We're going to play a few of the test chambers at the very beginning of the game. That way you guys can get a feel of what this game is all about. So here we are at the beginning of the game. You're arriving at Chroma Tech. Got that good elevator music? It's good. It's good. God, I'm so happy we're playing with the controller. Not good with the keyboard and mouse. And here we've arrived. Welcome to the Chromatech Test Lab. That's the voice. You're That's GLaDOS' little, little brother, as we're going to refer to him. Not it's awesome. Because you were in need of ten bucks and nobody else Who's signed up. I mean, who would have given you that idea? Before we start, we so need to one of the cool things about this game is GLaDOS' little brother, brother that voiceover. Door, the guy does a great job, and there's some door. little jokes and quirks Most he throws at you, which is just adds to the game. I think it makes it that much better, and I really do appreciate it. Also, it says exit. And these are the little balls that you're gonna solve puzzles with. As you can see, they're colored, so we'll get into that. So, let's get to the first chamber. Sensational. Where we're gonna get our chroma Please gun. Pick up the semi automatic nano acrylic projectile firearm right in front of you. This As you can see, is the Chroma Gun, Pat Chroma Gun, <laughs> Pat and Penny. <laughs> see the voice. I love the voiceover. There. Now, one thing I will say about the voiceover, the voice actor, Gladys's little brother. I wish there was more of it. Because as you play through the game, there are long sections where he doesn't even say a word, unlike Portal. And even though the game you can beat it in probably five to six hours, those droughts, I really feel like, slow the pace down. Because all you're doing is just solving puzzle after puzzle after puzzle. And it'd be nice if they had, if he, he chimed in a little bit to throw in some quirks and jokes and stuff like that, just to keep the pace up a little bit. But here's our Chroma Gun, and you see you shoot colors. And so those... Whatever color that orb is, and whatever color, it's going to be attracted to the wall. And that's essentially how you're going to solve all of the puzzles. See, there's yellow on the wall here. Boom. Attracted. Got through that. So now, you can't shoot these walls, but you can shoot these walls. And boom. It moves over for you. We got this guy, so we're going to go ahead and shoot. Man, aim is bad. There we go. And that's primarily how you solve all the puzzles in the game. As the, the game does a nice job of kind of easing you into the puzzle solving and increasing the difficulty as you progress through the game. And after you get through the, the first chapter in the game, I think, uh, is when you get the Please other two primary sense. colors in your gun. And then you start Good switching job, between them. And then you got to start mixing up colors and stuff like that. And it, it just it adds more and more layers to the puzzle difficulty, which is really cool. So we got this guy. So we're going to go like that. Oh, right there. There we go. We got this guy over here. Get away, sir. Oh, let's sneak through. Nice. Boom. And, it, I mean, this is the gist of the game. You're just going through solving puzzles, 
Very similar to Portal. Gunfire is a specially developed blend. Yeah, but it's fun. I think the puzzles are very well designed. Dangerously radioactive uh, isotopes. It's just a fun puzzle service. game. Not designed. Not An to ode be to Portal, it. if you will. That being said, please do not snap, touch, or especially Ew. lick the paint. I <laughs> don't lick the paint. Yeah, that's not good. Don't eat paint, kids. It's not good for your soul. So let's see here. Get rid of that. We got all these guys over here, so what I'm gonna do. My controller's a little sticky. There we go, we'll move those guys. Let's get through here. So you get as you can imagine, once you start having to mix colors and then there's some sequences where you have to go pretty quick because you're timed. Uh, it gets pretty intense and definitely challenging. And I will say, the puzzles aren't overly challenging. There were only a couple later in the game that I really kind of had to take my time and think about, how do I solve this one? Um, and I'll be honest, there was two puzzles, I think, at the very end of the game where... Actually, yeah, I think it was two, where I had to look up a video to kind of see what it was doing because I just was struggling and I wanted to be Sensational. the game. Please do not leave the trigger to ensure the continued opening of the exit door. There we go. Door. So they're going to add in door switches and you stuff like that. You have successfully understood the correlation between triggers and worker And drawers. the difficulty that rises. makes you more intelligent than 39% of test subjects and 97% of test There we go. Monkeys. You can even zoom in a little bit too, which is kind of cool. Boom. And there it is, guys. We're going to stop right there. Because that is Chroma Gun. I wish we could get to the point where we can do the other colors. You guys could see those. But um, again, I don't want to take too much time and draw out the video. But there it is. That is Chroma Gun. So Chroma Gun is currently available only on the PC. I think it's $12.99. I think it's well worth the price tag. Just because it's a great, fun puzzle game. It's a nice ode to Portal, as I said before. Hopefully the devs can bring it to Xbox One and PS4 at a later date. That'd be pretty cool, but I don't know if they have plans to do that. Good, good thing yeah, is you can play with your controller still. on the it PC. Well. So... That it's makes it all that much better. Camera. Do you want to give a shout out to the devs, Pixel Maniacs, for dropping me a copy of the game. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this game down in the comments below. And until next time, I'm Bonfire, and I will see you online. Yeah, yeah, now come up, now come up It's 80 you now if you with me, put your hands up On the fly, lady, set a front on that stand up Fellas, if you see the one you want, it's time to man up Like, hey, oh And if you see the